Okay, I just wanted to show, um, this is the champagne snow showers that I made earlier today, and I'm just about to um, unmold it. And it's been, um, this has been in the mold for about uh, six hours, I think. So I'm going to see um, exactly how firm it is. I made this around um, 2 o'clock this afternoon, and it's now about 9.30. And um, what I did this time to the liners, I mean to the, um, the inserts here, the dividers, is I actually put, um, I just oiled them a little bit with um, some of the oil from the soap before I um, poured it in, just so that they could slide off this time instead of um, getting stuck like they did on the comforter batch. So they should all just um, kind of slide out now. And um, this is still a little warm. Definitely firm enough to unmold. Okay, so these are the bars. And I actually made um, two more batches of soap today. I did um, a Bath and Body Works dupe for Twilight Woods. And I also did one for um, Clean. It's a company called Clean, and they have this fragrance called Warm Cotton. And so I um, also did a soap for that and they're both um, still in the molds. They're too warm still to cut so I'll probably um, unmold and slice those in the morning.
Okay, and then this is the last bar. And then I'm just going to show you the, um, the other two plates. As well as two that I did um, yesterday. This is um, the um, love spell that I did, and I cut these. They're um, purple and like lavender and white swirls. some pretty cool swirl down in there. And then I also did a batch of um, Black Star. Um, last time I did it in the slab mold and I put um, swirls on it. This time I did the loaf mold. Let's see if I get some light over here. I did the loaf mold and um, did some um, pink and crimson um, and like a purple swirl down inside of there. And because of the mold I was using, it was a little bit longer than the um, mold I usually, I normally use. So these actually um, probably could have used about 30 ounces of oils and I think I used like 25.5 ounces so the mold could have afforded it to be filled up a little bit more so it just means that like if you see it next to the love spell it's just um, not as high but I also cut these a little bit thicker in the love spell. I think these are going to wind up weighing um, about 4 to 4.5 ounces. And normally I try to have my soaps um, 4.5 to 5 ounces or sometimes, you know, more. And he's got a pretty swirl. I don't know if you can see this. Let me try to get the light on it. It has, um, you can see the sparkles inside of the mica. Normally when I, um, do a soap and use mica's color, it kind of, um, it loses that sparkle. But this time it actually stayed, so I thought that was pretty cool. This is just a little end piece. I thought it had a really pretty swirl in it. Okay, and just real quick, I'll show you the two batches that I'll be um, cutting in the morning. Okay. This is the... Um, The warm cotton one, and it's kind of like a, a teal color, but it's also um, like white in there. We'll see, it's, it's like a teal swirl and a white base, and then teal on top. But once we cut it, once I cut it, we'll see exactly um, what's inside. And then this is the Twilight Woods. 
And this one is, um, it should have like a cream colored base. And then I put in a green, brown, and burgundy swirl. And then the top, and then the top is also um, burgundy. And then I sprinkled um, some mica on top. And I'm really curious to see it's gold and mocha mica um, combined together. But I'm really anxious to see um, how the swirl turned out. So these are two loaves I'll be cutting in the morning and we'll see what's inside.